once again to Star Choice, the show that puts stars in your eyes and hairs on your chest. Yes, even for you, Winnie of Works Up. Alas, it's the last one in the present series. <laughs> but now, meet a lady, the agony aunt who's never agonizing, and uh, it's Katie. I'm not suffering from a pimple. It's just a boil. Oh, it's not an agonizing. <laughs> oh, well, it is the last one of the series, oh, Katie. Terrible. Sad. Oh, I'm miserable. But it's oh, not well. going to be the last one, is it? Well, we'll have to come back, won't we? One hope you is... want us back, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. That's lovely. Oh, you do. You at home, too? Yes. Oh, my goodness, this is called milking it, Isn't I think. It lovely? <laughs> you milked it dry, dear. Now, with you tonight, of course, is a Patricia Allen from Starry Sheffield. Oh. Now, Trish, as I said, you're from Sheffield and your award sister at the Northern General Hospital. That's right, yeah. Is true? Who do you look after there? Male patients. Male patients. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No wonder you look so bedraggled, darling. <laughs> <laughs> we might be tempted to think that, you, in fact, you're a caring, devoted Cancerian, but, in fact, you're a perfect Piscean, aren't you? And uh, you're single, but not unattached. <laughs> Who is the lucky creature? It's a secret. Is it? Mm -hmm. You Pisceans always keep them. You enjoy rock music, fashion, and your job, which you love. It's true. Trish Allen! But now let's meet a lass who's caused a few hours in her time. Enchanting. Enrapturing. Eve Hoochie to her friends. Pollard! <laughs> and, of course, Eve's partner tonight is Gloria Simons, who has come at enormous expense all the way from Headingley. <laughs> Now, Gloria, first of all, I think a little fashion parade. Would you like to stand up and show what you're wearing? And, of course, Gloria is wearing a marvellous Peruvian shift made from a strangled llama. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely lovely. Though I must admit, it is something that I really could see myself in. <laughs> I think it was marvellous, Russell. Do you think I could get I through do, the armholes? Yes. Anyway, you're a college lecturer in drawing and colour. That's right. It's just to look at the colours all the Did you design that yourself? One of my students designed it, actually. That's wonderful. They missed a bit out the top, but don't worry, I think Eve's got it. <laughs> um, she's a sing... You're a single girl, but you're spoken for. Who speaks for you, darling? A man with a trumpet. Does he? Mm. Wonderful. <laughs> I thought you'd have preferred a trombone, but each of his own. Um, transcendental meditation, drawing cats, Chinese brush painting, portraiture. You're very talented. And in fact, all of this is down to your captivating Cancerian sun sign, Gloria Simons. <laughs> right, well, now we've met all the players, it's now time to meet our star choice. An actress who's always got her words off pat. Patsy Rollins. You're <laughs> <laughs> coming back. Oh. That's what it means. Yep. Oh, Did you know, Patsy, that if you trip, it means you're coming back? Well, I fell, I fell flat in heading with the other Oh, day. did you? You're going On back. On the pavement. There's a nice little, so what does that there's mean? There's a nice little bachelor flat there, dear, just for oh. you and me. Anyway, <laughs> it's nice to see you, Patsy. Right. You do realise you're one of my favourites. Well, that's nice to know. It's absolutely keep, keep, keep true. Keep talking, keep talking. Couldn't you just eat her? <laughs> oh. Oh, no. And obviously not. <laughs> no. Anyway. Not the favourite of the month. You're lovely, darling. Uh, Round one. Is, uh, is, is fairly easy, but uh, now you've met our star choice. Now, all that we have to do now, of course, our two teams, by asking questions of note, is to find out what sun sign Patsy is. So, as usual, I think we'll go to the lady over there. Start with me. Lady right. of Spain. Yes, lovely. No, Italy, please. The lady uh, of Italia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, Patsy, if you won the pools, what would you do? Would you save, 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 or spend, spend, spend? A bit of ease. Oh, you're a balanced lady, are you? Yes. Ah, I see. Yeah. Right. Frugal. Wow, well, there we are. What about frugal? No, no. <laughs> no, I don't think I'm frugal. You're not frugal. But, but you're cautious. You like to spread yourself about a bit. <laughs> that, that's a bit, um... No, it couldn't be. Your name's not Marge. <laughs> um... <laughs> Eve? Um... <laughs> are you 
is very loyal. I mean, if one of your friends was in some sort of trouble, would you stick to them through thick and thin, or would you vanish and come back when everything was sorted out? No, I'd stick with them. Yeah. Loyalty. Trish? Do you ever have um, big ideas but can rarely f follow them through? Or do you stick to what you're doing till you finish it? I stick to what I do. You know your limitations, perhaps, that mm. one could interpret mm. that by? Yeah. Gloria! Would you say that you were particularly sensitive to criticism? Yes. Very, very, very good. That is, that, that, is, that is a very big clue if you know your son's science. Mm. Uh, Katie? Would you consider a man who can cry as weak? No. You'd want a mother in, would you? I wouldn't think, I wouldn't think he's weak. Uh, the fact that he could cry made, would make me think he's a real... A real fella. Yeah. I don't know about mother. Maybe. Yeah, we are. Yeah, <laughs> well, you, you could yeah. perhaps eat him. Mm -hmm. Right, Eve. Would you ever go out on a limb about something, or are you fairly safe and sure? Oh, I'm one of those. One I of th uh, very occasionally, I would go out on a limb. Uh, but I've got to be totally convinced first, and then nothing would stop me. I go go right out on it, but not very often. There we are. Lots of very good clues there. Now it's time to plump. Katie and Trish, would you like to decide which time Patsy is? What do you think? Well, I think she's a, a, a very balanced lady. Somebody I'd love to live with, very sensitive, very kind. Mm. I would say she was a Libra. Mm. Right, hold on to that. Mm. Eve and Glow. We're, uh, we're going for Capricorn. You're yes. going for Capricorn, the two of you. Right, what do you think, audience? What sign do you think Patsy is? Capricorn. Virgo. Virgo. Capricorn over there. Patsy, reveal yourself to the waiting world. <laughs> January the 19th. I'm not saying what year. <laughs> but what sign is that? Well, uh, the bar, ah, uh, can I say, I am, according to everything that's ever written in any, far more Aquarius than I am Capricorn. But you are but the Capricorn. Bit is and you get five <laughs> You are very near the cusp, actually. 20th, 21st, sometimes some moves mm. into a quest. Depends don't which reads better. Well, yes, well, normally mine do. We know that. Mm. Um, the thing well. is, though, with, um, with all astrology, you need your date, time and place of birth to cast the whole chart. And it's likely you could be sun in Capricorn with a few planets spilled over into Aquarius, like the moon or Venus. But nonetheless, you've got your five points. Katie's oh, got none. we're trailing, we're trailing. Well, it's one of those things. Naught points to five, but one thing I must say, Patsy, I've been a great fan of yours for, for, for many, many years. You see, I love the Carry On movies, and um, I've seen you in many of those. Did you enjoy making those? Yes, yes. Um, not at first, I didn't, but I did afterwards. Why is it that so many folks see Capricorn as such a gloomy, leaden, melancholic sign? After all, this is the sign of the goat. And what do we do when we're playing puckish tricks but act the goat? Now, I've been fortunate enough to see the positive side of this earthy sign. Sylvia of Blackpool was always a lass to extract sympathy by any means possible. You'd meet her in the streets and in familiar lingo ask, How are you feeling, dear? Dreadful, came the sobbing reply. I don't know how I lasted the night she had grown. Obviously suspecting the worst, that she was on the edge of the next world, you'd inquire further. But what is it, Sylve? Thinking of every ailment under the sun. It's my knees throb, throb, throb all night, like two pillars of fire. Now, that's not just a Capricorn from Blackpool's characteristics, but most goats from Settle to Skegness will at some time have, well, one of their attacks, like Eeyore, the yard done by Donkey and Winnie the Pooh, feeling so sorry for themselves, you want to drop everything and weep on the shopping precinct pavement together. <laughs> But listen, try to remember what Capricorn is seeking. It's security. They want to be wanted, need to be needed. But unlike most signs, kind of express their feelings as lucidly as, say, the watery signs. So they get sympathy by playing on their shortcomings. Now, if you can laugh with them, and like good old Sylve, give a paracetamol for Christmas and liniment for Easter, <laughs> your goat will soon get the message, and you'll end up laughing together like a couple of kids enjoy life for what it is. Only the misguided get hung up by the sign of the goat, letting the Capricorn ailments get the better of them. Very soon they're suffering from housemaid's knee. And if you can't understand why your particular goat is always ill, could it be because you're ignoring them? It's no good getting stroppy, 
For however austere, angry and audacious your Capricorn may be, underneath they need reassurance, bolstering up and constant reminders that they are good enough for you. Remember their worst traits are lack of confidence and insecurity, causing them to wallow in a sea of depression. Understand your Capricorn, and in return, you'll get someone who'll stick by you through thick and thin, for their loyalty and duty is unsurpassed. One more thing. Never chuck anything away, whether it's granddad's old Poe or last night's Yorkshire Pud. <laughs> they hate waste. Besides, that pub will make a lovely bubble and squeak tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, so, some of those things there, uh, the Capricorn, which I've, I've just um, been talking about, the insecurity, is this something that happens to you? Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, all the time. Is the praise and reassurance something you need? Yes, but I get a bit worried sometimes because I'll go in a shop I was in Boots the other day buying something. There was a little girl, she was about 18. And I dropped something and I said, I'm so sorry. And she looked at me as if I was crazy because it never, I mean, I just dropped something on the side of the counter and I'm <laughs> apologising to this little girl. And she thought, you know. So, I mean, that's the sort of insecurity, I suppose. Well, Patsy, it's great having you on. Patsy Rowlands, everybody. Right, you stay with us, Patsy, because it's now it's time for round two, and I'm going to give our two teams and you out there some cryptic clues describing certain celebrities, uh, dead or alive, and all I will tell you is that they're the same sign as Patsy, which we've established as sun sign Capricorn. So are you ready for these cryptics? Eve, you got your act together, darling? Full of depression as a Capricorn. Oh, of course you're a Capricorn. Did you understand what I was talking about? A little. Oh, well. You'll understand a bit more later, darling. Yes. Because this veteran actress can handle comedy parts and got in a bit of a pickle with a late TV marriage. Uh, Miss Ellie? Barbara Belgadius? No, not at all. Katie, this veteran actress can handle comedy parts and got in a bit of a pickle with a late TV marriage. This veteran actress can handle comedy parts. Well, I really handle. Well done. One bonus point. Well done, Katie. Now, your own question. She was in her prime as Miss Jean Brodie, and though her name's common, she's certainly not. Maggie Smith. You've must got be. it. Two yes. points. Well done. <laughs> Eve, this newscaster's Christian name reflects the month in which she was born. This newscaster's Christian name reflects the month in which she was born. Uh, Jan Neiman. Well done. Two points. <laughs> Ready for this one, Katie? We asked this quiz master to give us a clue to his identity, but he thought it wasn't necessary. Michael Aspel? Two points for Michael Aspel. <laughs> now, this is a rather clever one, and your Capricornian bits will come out for this. <laughs> this blonde actor to step from a wartime series to a war classic and hit the top flight. This blonde actor stepped from a wartime series to a war classic and hit the top flight. Oh. I'm going to pass it over. Miss Boyle is coming to the boil over there. Who do you think it is, my dear? I think it's Anthony Andrews. And you are absolutely right. <laughs> <One very strong. laughs> War being evil in war, me Correct. Think. Anyway, um, who's going to it now? It's you, Katie, isn't it? Don't ask me the identity of this wagged botanist who came out tops down under. Oh, well, it must be Bellamy. You're right. Two points yes. for David Bellamy. Yes, David Bellamy. <laughs> now, what are the points? I don't believe it. Katie Boyle is eight and Eve Pollard is seven. <laughs> Oh, you are a wag, Katina. <laughs> and that's it for part one. In a couple of ticks, I should do my soft shoe shuffle in the audience. And of course, it's time for our guest, Miss Dare. See you then. <laughs> <laughs> Now, welcome back to Star Choice, and of course this is the point where you see my frocks. 
And um, you are obviously aware that, as this is the last show, I'm wearing something extra special. It's uh, an Arabian night outfit. This is my version of Scheherazade from top to toe, as you can see. Anyway, <laughs> our next round involves 12 members of this ace this really ace audience and uh, we have press ganged this lot to participate because one of this 12 this 12 is a Capricorn is a goat right and <laughs> could be him and um, these two this lot up here I've got to try and guess which is a Capricorn by asking some searing questions so are you ready you lot hold up your stars have a quick flash that's it wave it about a bit as the actress said to the... Anyway, here we go. <laughs> Are you ready, first of all? Katie, would you like to penetrate into the slot? Oh, really? Uh, well, if, whether you're at play or whether you're at work, do you always want to win or do your best and achieve? Do you want to achieve something? If you do, hold up your star. If you don't, keep it down. That's Every one it. of them's a Capricorn. <laughs> yes, they were. no, no, there's my oh, there's friend only over one here. What's your name, darling? <laughs> right. Who? Gerald. Gerald doesn't. Gerald. Gerald. Gerald with the hair. Right, what about you, Eve? Uh, if I was to go away, could I safely, or are you the sort of person who down the street looks after someone's dog, cat, and the house while someone goes on holiday? Are you a holiday? selfless person, she's asking? Helpful, you look after practical. other people's bits. Right? Yes, yes, yes. Gerald doesn't. Um, there we are. Yes, 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 yes. Over there. How's about you, Trash? Um... Would you love to be married to somebody who was famous with lots of money? Would you love to be married? <laughs> There's a Gerald is desperate by the looks of it. <laughs> Anything on four legs. Right. <laughs> what about you, darling? The Peruvian wonder. Uh, do you believe that life begins at 40? Do you believe that you don't need filler sun? You've got it all in your loins. <laughs> right? Yes, quite a few here believe that life, and they're all over 40, they've got to believe it. <laughs> right. Can you possibly have a little go? And don't stand up mm -hmm. until after they've both had a go. Mm -hmm. Which one is the Capricorn? Well, I'm going to leave Katie it to Trish this time, Trish. because she has two ideas, and uh, go on, go on. I think it's the young lady with the blue dress on. The young lady, is that right. you, Trish? You're not the, are you the, uh, shut up, don't say a no, word, you. One. Keep your... She are you the, uh, the dark blue dress? Well, that's why I looked at you, Treasure. I mean, you believe in life after 40. They think it's you. Right. What about you two over there? Well, we were looking for a goat, weren't we? You're looking for a goat? So, we, we thought the gentleman in the middle. The old boy. Glasses. This is it. I thought it was the old boy in the front. What's, uh, what's your name, my dear? Jim. Jim. You think Jim is, and you lot think that is. Actually, I wonder if it's Gerald. <laughs> Would the real Capricorn please show us your horn? There she is. Mm. Ooh, I did enjoy that. None of you got any points here, did you? No, seven. Oh, you're still in the lead. Now, we're on to our final round. And as usual, the Parker Knoll has no wine in it. Let's do something about it. Poof. Yes, now there's someone in it, because at home you can obviously see our mystery guest. Now, all I can tell you is that he or she is, of course, a Capricorn, which is our star choice in this programme, and I'm going to give both Katie and Eve's team a maximum of five cryptic clues. And all you've got to do, girls, I'm sure you know by now, is guess the identity of who's sitting next to me. A warning. If either you make a pronouncement and get it wrong, you're out. So, are you ready um, for our mystery guest's clues? First one. He was well known to Kent in the ring. He was well known to Kent in the ring. In the rain? In the ring. Ring. R-A-N-G. Might have been known into him in the rain, darling. I think he's into Max. Um, but he was no Palo Jack. But he was no Palo Jack. That's number two. I go on to number three. He used dirty tactics, but he never wrestled with his conscience. It's a wrestler. He wrestler. used dirty tactics, um, but he never wrestled with his oh, conscience. Oh, yeah. uh, yes, one of the one of the wrestlers. Come, Doesn't be good. Yeah. Right. Yes. We've, got Mac, it, we've got it. We've got it. We've got it. Mick McManus. Mick McManus, you're correct. Yeah, okay. Okay. In he comes, Mick.
Well, that was it. That's very good. You do got that one, Eve. My genius friend, Gloria. The Peruvian Thank wonder. You. Well, there we are. Five points. You got it right. Mick, it always amazes me when I hear that Capricorns are into sports because most I know tend to organise sports and be on the business side rather than actually playing it. Does that interest you, that side too? Yes, I am on the business side actually. Are you? Uh, wrestling, yeah, since I retired anyway. And uh, I do help to organise it and uh, help to organise the television wrestling as well. Apart from up and down the country, you know, various commercial shows. What do you prefer? Do you prefer actually to be in the limelight or helping people along or just getting the general admin together and arranging the, the bouts? Well, I was, you know, I was active for about 30 years, maybe 32 years, which is a long time. And, um, you know, you've got to pack up sometime. Uh, I still have the face which people recognise uh, whenever I'm out and about. But, uh, no, I like the, uh, the organisation of it. It's, it's, it's good. It's, uh, it keeps you busy. One of the questions I know a lot of people want to know, did you actually get on with Jackie Palo? No, not really. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> At least they hear it. <laughs> not really. I, uh, I, funny enough, I never come in contact with him at all now since I sort of packed up wrestling. I, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's possibly still wrestling. I'm not too sure, really. What always amazes me about wrestling is in, you, you see wrestling in the Olympic Games and you see it on a Saturday afternoon on ITV World of Sport. And, and obviously one is very showbiz and the other is, shall we say, a, a much more disciplined sport. I mean, which is the real wrestling or are they both? Well, they're both, but they've got different, you know, it's different styles, you see. If you, you've got to remember that um, anything which is on the professional side, you've got to sort of make it interesting because otherwise people won't come to watch it, obviously. And you've got to have people come to watch it, otherwise you don't get paid. <laughs> So uh, it's just like you, you make, you make, you know, interesting, whatever you've got, you sort of, you're a bit of an extrovert, so you, you, you cash in on that, you see. And uh, this is the same with wrestling. The basics are the same. The basics don't alter at all. No. It's just that uh, they change the rules around and they introduce different holds and uh, different moves and make it uh, a professional sport as opposed to an amateur sport. I've always been interested, and you can throw me into a bear hug if I'm wrong, um, but is it... Um, is it fixed at any time on a Saturday afternoon? No, because, uh, mind you, I'm not responsible for every match that takes place. No, of course know, not. <laughs> so I don't want to commit myself there. But, no, you see, if, if anything is going to be fixed at all, it's usually from the money point of view, like from the gambling. Right. And, of course, there's no gambling on wrestling. You can't get a bet on wrestling. So that's the first thing. Secondly, that everybody, you know, we're all egomaniacs, really. We're conceited, so consequently you always want to win. Yeah. And if I know I can beat the daylights out of you and someone comes on and says, <laughs> well, why don't you let Grant, you know, Grant win or, or Russell win? Yeah. I say, well, what are you talking about? You know, you must be mad. So, obviously, uh, the best men sort of come through well, to it. the top. It's as simple as that. Really. Well, Mick, it's great to have you on. Well Thank done. You. Thank you. A good Capricorn. I'm sure you're going to go fast. Some really good stuff Thank going. You. And, of course, as you know, that's it from tonight's Star Choice. And as I said earlier, it's the last in the, uh, in the present series. I can say the pleasant series, but it's pleasant. It's been... Anyway, thanks to all the people who've been on, especially my two pals, my oppos, Katie Boyle and Eve Pollard. But we'll be back, I predict, we'll be back with more planetary pleasantries very, very soon. Until then, look after yourselves, love. Hello, darling. Bye.